welcome back to Middle Earth Gaming and with another Middle Earth Strategy Battle Game News Update video. Today's video is going to be very short guys because there's not much to talk about um, but uh, I, I just thought I'd just send it out to you guys now because I know a lot of you guys have been asking in the comments section uh, of the videos um, when are the new Easterly models coming out and when is the new Dragon Emperor model coming out. Now of course we don't know when the new Dragon Emperor model is coming out, we haven't even had a look at him yet, all we've seen is a silhouette with him. Although, uh, to go on that, uh, we do have the GT coming out at uh, Warhammer World. The GT is on this weekend, the Grand Tournament. Um, so that is awesome. And I would assume, not you know, nothing's obviously confirmed, but I would assume there would be like a talk, maybe a seminar happening um, at the GT. But we'll have to wait and see about uh, if anything comes out from that. But in the last Sunday preview over on Warhammer Community, we know that we're going to be getting some of the new Eastling heroes uh, that have been announced. So we are getting Rutabi and Brogir. Um, I hope I don't, I don't, it's it's Brogir, or Brogir. I don't know how you say it, but um, we're getting these two awesome looking models. Um, so uh, here's your chance to lead the Drunish Dragon Cult into battle with two Eastling heroes, personally trained by the Dragon Emperor himself. Rutabi is a powerful hero and one of the foremost Eastling generals. Brogir, on the other hand. Uh, is the head of Eastling War Priest who has de uh, delved into the ancient text to enhance his dark powers to earth-shattering levels. Um, so yeah, I do like the, the mask on Brogir, the uh, the War Priest. I think it looks very cool. And uh, Rutabi is uh, definitely uh, he 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 definitely does look uh, he looks pretty sweet too. Um, but of course, you know, obviously he's on a rock. Uh, Brogir is on a rock, as uh, a lot of uh, GW's models are these days. That heroic pose on a rock with a billowing cape. Um, I'm probably going to pick these up. Uh, I'm, they should be up for pre-order on Friday, uh, de Saturday, depending on where you are in the world. Um, I'm probably going to pick these up to add to my uh, starting Eastling force. I am building an Eastling army for War in the North, or Defense of the North. Get a big uh, battle going on there. Um, so yeah, I might pick these up and uh, maybe, maybe do like a painting uh, vlog or something uh, to go with these guys. Because I actually haven't bought anything new and painted it up. Um, in quite a while. The Witch King was the last one I did, and before that, I don't even know when. So, um, if you guys like to see that, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys are planning on picking this up, or are you going to pass? Uh, uh, Eastling's not really your thing. I've recently uh, got, a, got a new... Uh, um, got, got the uh, Eastling Warband from, from uh, the Maids of Order. They haven't arrived yet, but I got two Eastling Warbands, so I've definitely got the start of an Eastling army, so that's very, very cool. And I do have the uh, colour palette color scheme worked out for them as well so gonna be cool so if you guys like to see that let me know in the comment section below but i'm gonna get out of here because there's not much to talk about and i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe if you haven't already i'll see you guys in the next one and as always happy gaming